The stress and conflict caused by problem behaviour is one of the major factors in poor performance, not just for individuals, but for organisations as a whole. We're going to identify some common types of these behaviours in the workplace. No! Don't you dare when we're working! How many times have I told you? See them demonstrated and get the expert view on how to go about tackling problem behaviour. Instead of tackling problem behaviour, we often tend to work around the person who's causing the problem. But this doesn't solve the problem and it can actually create new ones. Working with organisations, what I find the most problematic behaviour is avoidance. So it's actually the avoidance of dealing with those behaviours. So that for me is the underlying problem. I think it's probably the, the last unmeasured factor. In companies these days, we are so obsessed with the bottom line, with making money, very few people are quantifying the cost of that small percentage of people who use obstructive behaviour. The key to dealing with problem behaviour is first to understand the impact of the person's behaviour and then focus on how changing it will achieve the outcome that you want. Let's identify the seven main types of problem behaviour in the workplace. Pete has brought us on a new client. The name of the company is Deckers. I don't know if any of you... Oh, my God, no, not them again. Oh, yeah, I remember them. They're the ones based out in Moorfields, right? Yeah, that's them. They've expanded quite a bit since we knew them. Uh, they've got several sites now. They were awful, really rude people, and they always changed things at the last minute, and they never paid us on time. We had to keep chasing them up. Nightmare. 